Hey everybody, I'm Joshua. I have been on vacation with my wife this week. We are in Pennsylvania right now, and as we are walking to get onto our plane, the news erupts that something has happened. You've probably seen it by now, the video where Trump is speaking at one of his rallies. He goes down to his knees, his ear is bloody. There's all kinds of messages going out about what actually happened, but the point is, we are in unprecedented times, and the enemy is fighting tooth and nail to bring about his agenda. As we approach this election season coming up, the most valuable thing you can begin to do is get on your knees and pray, but also to fight for biblical principles. For too long, those who stand for what's right have stayed home from the polls. Those who believe in God and what the Bible says have not fought tooth and nail. And we have seen this because we've seen elections run away and we've blamed it on all forms of conspiracy and other things that may have happened. But the point is, it's time to get on your knees now and pray. Pray for President Trump. Pray for his family. Pray for their protection. At no point in any election process should we be worried or concerned about violence in attacking either one. But the enemy right now is scared. He's scared because he knows that what happens this November can quickly change the future of the United States of America and everything that happens that God has planned. So it's time now for you to pray. It's time now for you to decide and to look at these candidates and to choose and to stand for candidates that are standing for biblical principles. We understand that there's no one person that's perfect. We understand that there's all kinds of issues all over the place, but you need to examine and ask the Holy Spirit who to stand for to defend the biblical principles of this nation that it was founded on of the Bible. We love you guys. We wanted to send this message out so that you could begin praying right now and realize that it is time to be active in defending your faith and not just sit in the background and say the Lord's will will be done. But he has put you here for a purpose, and that purpose is to stand for the truth. Thank you.